Hi, and welcome to 5 Minute Features of Flexi 19. Today, we're going to be covering the basics of vectorizing in Flexi. Our first example is going to be a simple black and white bitmap. Our customer would like us to cut the black object out of vinyl and send it to them. If I try and cut this object through the cut plot tab, Flexi will tell me there is no cuttable object within the current setting. That is because I need to convert this object to a vector before I can cut it. So let's see how we can do that in Flexi. Our most simple example is going to be the Auto Trace tool. If I come to the bitmap, the vectorize, and select Auto Trace, I can simply click and drag over my black and white bitmap. Then if I come back to my selection tool, we can see it has traced the black outline of my bitmap, and this is now a vector path. If I come to the cut plot tab, my object is now detected and I can resize it and cut it out of vinyl as I need. The auto trace function is the most simple example of vectorizing in Flexi. But if we come back to the menu, it has some handy options such as noise reduction and sharp corners to help with those more pixelated and tricky bitmaps. For our second example, we're going to look at tracing a colored bitmap. If I come to my second file, here I have again quite a simple colored bitmap. My user would like me to cut this object out of vinyl for them. Again, if I come to the cut plot tab now, it will tell me there's no cuttable object within my current setting. So, how can we vectorize this in Flexi? First of all, if I come back to bitmap, vectorize and auto trace, let's see what happens. Again, I'm going to click and drag and then release. Come back to my selection tool, but we see the auto trace has only traced the most contrasting color in my image. So let's see what we can do about this in Flexi. If I come to the bitmap, vectorize and color trace option, we see a different menu comes up in Design Central. Here, it's important to adjust the number of colors you would like to trace. In this case, we would like the green, the purple, the orange, and also the white. So I'm going to change this number to four. And when I click and drag, we see it's detected my four colors. But we also have some more options in Design Central for this. If I use Control and click, I can change the color to a different color before I trace it. And if I use Shift and click, I can turn on and off different colors that have been detected. And when I press apply, and I come back to my selection tool, first we'll remove our white corners, and then we'll remove the bitmap from behind. Now we have a fully workable vector object. And if I select this object and come to the cut plot window with selection only, we can see this is fully cuttable now. So I can prepare this for my customer. Thank you for joining us for five minute features on the basics of vectorization. Our next video will be on advanced vectorization. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can view the next guide.